Am I the asshole for going to my birthday dinner without my husband when he wasn't ready on time? It was my fourth. <laughs> okay, okay, how many times have Yo, I been how, late, huh? How many times has she been late to stream? <gasps> Don't Ooh, say that. How many times? Don't ask the best. <laughs> how many times, guys? It's like at a wedding, and then they're, they're like, you may now kiss the bride. I'm like, close your eyes. You close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> my mom, my dad hits my mom's butt in front oh, of me. Oh, my dad does too. Yeah, yeah, they do you know? help That's me. cute. My mom's like jacking my dad off. Okay, under yeah, the no, 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 no. What? No. Uh, <laughs> Even just holding hands, you can't. Mm -mm, I can't. I feel really awkward holding hands. But do your parents hold hands in front of you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the next episode. I don't know whenever we're on of Flow and Tell. We are here with co-hosts Novi and Ty. Hello. Hello. Take two. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is take two, guys. Um, we're gonna talk about Am I the Asshole? Which I think is really fun. So it'll be fun. I'm gonna read everything and they're just gonna respond if they think that that's an asshole thing. <laughs> So here's my question. Am I the asshole here? My wife told me yesterday, all I want for Mother's Day is to have the day completely off. I don't need or want anything else. I confirmed with her multiple times and then started planning a day for my two boys and I. Today comes by. I intercept my oldest son at 7 a.m. before he comes into our room. We go downstairs to watch his favorite morning show and to eat breakfast. The moment I heard my youngest wake up, I got him out of his crib and downstairs. We finished breakfast and I have them start working on handmade cards for my wife. When I hear her get up, we surprise her with the cards from the kids. Here is where things go wrong. My wife asked me, did you write me anything? I told her I was working on it, but wasn't done. I had been busy with the kids and wanted to finish it up. She was not happy. I quickly finished it up and sent it to her. A note on this, I'm not a very well-spoken person. I have a hard time putting my thoughts together, so I used Google to turn my thoughts into a letter. I come inside, and she tells me that I plagiarized and used Google for her letter. I told her I absolutely did, but that the main points were mine. I then sent her the original, and she scoffed and said, that's it? So, am I the asshole for using Google to make myself sound elegant? And am I the asshole for not writing enough, quotes enough, in my original? Final thought, she told me all she wanted was a day off. She's still getting that and is currently out with all her girlfriends. Damn. How many, how many days did he have though to write this? Okay, see, that's, that's the thing. <laughs> I mean. You got it. But, okay, this is my opinion on this. Okay. okay. Is that I do think that it is, it's annoying for me when you know that Mother's Day is coming up or you know that maybe our anniversary or my birthday, mm -hmm. I would like that you had prepared in advance the card. It's not hard to write a card, to think on it. If you want to use Google Translate, which I actually have done a lot because mm -hmm. I'm not good at putting my words together on a letter. And when I look at Google Translate, they make things very elegant and pretty. And yeah. I see no problem with that. But like... I just don't think it annoys me like an actual like, turn off when a guy spends that day writing oh, yeah. a letter and then takes forever to give it to me. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank and the you. thing is, like, okay. I know I know he used Google and but he got caught plagiarizing. I don't know how she caught yeah, him. Yeah, but... I don't know how she caught him. That means he not using his brain. <laughs> Hey man, he's, he's taking you know? care of two kids. I don't know. All right, Ty. Yeah, Ty, go. I mean, I think not. Like, like he said, he's not good at writing, too, right? So it's like, if you're not good at something, you do tend to put it off. Like, you can't say you don't do that, right? When you're not good at something, you're like, oh, I'll put it off until then. I'll put it off until then. And then when time comes around, you kind of last minute do it. Does well, that, go ahead, okay. that sounds like a him problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know like he knows that he's not good at this so if he had like a week or months then uh, he, he could have done it like started sooner i mean he could have sure i mean i don't know what his life is like but at the same time it's like i think at least he tried and i think maybe she got too mad go flow <laughs> Because uh, I think her feelings are valid. I think her feelings are very valid. Damn. Like, okay, the way mm -hmm. she went about it, though, saying that's it or scoffing or like. That's kind of much stuff, to me. That's, that's not nice. Like, there's obviously a nicer way to say things. But I do think that I can understand 
Like, do you, it, when you s- write something the day of, it just makes that person feel less special. That's interesting. Cause I guess I just don't feel that way. Like if, if someone wrote me something, whether or not they wrote me something at all, I don't, I don't particularly your girlfriend or wife hold against. Yeah. If, if it was like my significant other and it was my birthday and they wrote me something that day, then I'd just be like, Oh, that's nice. You actually about the took day time after? to wrote me something. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the same anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I'm just, I'm I would, just if, Ty's if, here. If they wrote me the day after, I'd just be confused. I'd be like, oh, why did you write me this when it's already passed? Would you Would you be upset if they forgot? Yeah. Forgot my, like, forgot to like, write it or forgot my birthday? Your birthday. I think I would be, like, a little, like, oh, you forgot my birthday. But I wouldn't be upset. I would be like, do you know what day this is? Yeah, I would not be upset. Like, I'd be checking the clock every hour. I would be very upset. Like, I just think, like, in relationships, it's all a lot. It's just like... It depends on, like, how I feel about my partner, I think. And how you feel about birthdays. True, how I feel about birthdays. But it's also, like, if if I know my partner is, like, trying her best to do all these different things, and, like, she forgot my birthday, she's super busy doing X, Y, Z, you know, taking care of the kids, whatever... Then I'll be like, okay, well, I understand. But if it's just like she's out there partying every night and then like, you know, she don't do anything and then she forgot my birthday, then it's like, well, what, what, what did you do? That's true. Right? What did you do really? So it's, there's context. <laughs> yeah. In these I, well, I would say that this is a one day thing though, where he knew it was coming up and he could have planned better. Cause usually mm-hmm. she probably takes care of the kids usually because this is the one day she wants time That's off. true. Yeah, you know, so I it seems like that it seems true. like he had some time, and true. his time management skills might be a little lacking. Okay, it, was, <laughs> it's, I, yeah. it feels okay. like the okay. way that he handles both the kids in 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 his explanation seems like they probably both take care of the kids together. But in the, on this particular day, she didn't want to do her half because he seems to take way? care of the kids of, in a very efficient manner. Thank you for your assumption. <laughs> you we also will take it, made an we assumption. Will, we will take it into consideration. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know y'all <laughs> were about that. <laughs> it's just, it, it, to me, it's like, you're probably the same, right? It's like, it's mm-hmm. important that you remember. It's like, you, it's important to remember, like, happy Valentine's Day or happy birthday. Yeah, least. I just don't, if it's like the day of, I don't want them to be rushing, trying to scramble to put it together. Yeah. I want it to be like, the day's here. It's already executed. Like, that's a, it, that's like, you know. the definition of the bare minimum that like most girls kind of say. It's like, mm-hmm. it really doesn't take a lot of effort to just like, even if you might have just like, are so busy, you could just write a little post-it note and just be like, sorry, but I'm so busy, but I do have something for you. You know, just like okay. affirmation to just let us know. Like girls, we can be patient. But do you think she would have been okay with that? <laughs> Given her reaction. <laughs> I just think he should have done it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it looks, it, you know, it sounds like it sounds like it's not the first time. <laughs> See, she seems very annoying. That's an assumption. <laughs> That's an assumption. <laughs> A very strong assumption. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Like, it's sweet to to think about it ahead of time. And I think ideally, if you're with a partner who cares about you, they will make that effort. So, like, for me, it's a trust factor. So, if I really trust this person, then I know that. They're going to do it, and if they don't do it, I'm going to cut them slack. It's how much you like you really trust, you, your and partner you really like know things. the person. Yeah, and you really it would know still them. like bother me though. It would still make me. I mean, that's fine. Bother, yeah, yeah, of course, because you're expecting it and you're no. let down. <laughs> don't, be, don't be asking. <laughs> Look at her face. The whole time she's just like, no excuse for yeah, you. No excuse. Yeah, no excuse. No excuse. You know what I want. You better do it right. You know what we call that? We call that high maintenance. <laughs> no, it's like it's, 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 it's how knowing. She sees it's like love. it's like knowing what mm-hmm. I actually want. Like knowing what I want. Mm-hmm. Maybe oh, she yeah. doesn't right. care about other things. Like maybe you don't care about like money and all this stuff. So then okay. like, I love money. <laughs> <laughs> do you hear that? She loves okay, money. You know what? I don't right. care. Right. Okay, here. No, put I don't that care in. about Edith, flowers. Don't give me flowers. <laughs> <laughs> See, she so she talks about how she needs the the letter because it's like the sentimental value, but then flowers is like no, even though that's like the epitome of sentimental. Flowers are just a waste of money. They, they <laughs> die. They just die. You yeah, spend a hundred dollars on flower, gone in like yeah, oh, yeah. Right. But but there are tons of girls that expect it. That is their bare minimum. And when those girls, those guys <laughs> dating those girls, lucky flowers, easy. 
Just choose one from the store. H E B. Done. No, you just like no, no. They can be very picky. You know, like those girls. Flower that they do not like. Imagine those girls that want like actual like gifts like you have to think about what perfume do i get her what bag do i get her but oh, with flowers yeah. and chocolate uh, high maintenance tie are girls that actually want chanel bags or <laughs> blah 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 like that's tough yeah okay, that's yeah. Very tough. Day. I, I agree like, that would all be these tough. things that'd be tough yeah but the small things a card like this is simple simple yeah, task yeah. okay mister <laughs> simple task <laughs> And the Googling thing, I personally don't care. You write whatever you want. But oh, don't, yeah. don't plagiarize word for word. That's like, funny, yeah. though. Chat <laughs> GPT <laughs> causing issues. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo chat GPT, chat my GPT. letters, too. <laughs> if like, the word sounds too hard, I'd be like, I need a simpler word than that. Yeah. <laughs> he even wrote He even wrote that Shiri knows that he kind of has trouble putting his thoughts together. So oh, okay. he tells her in advance. So she should like probably yeah. understand that. But yeah, she should be more understanding, I yeah. think. I wish he posted the card that he wrote or that he played. Right? I want to know. Yeah. That one be like, is it That'd obvious cool. or if it's not obvious? I yeah. Know? I want to know. That'd be a different story. Yeah. If it was like some Shakespeare thing, I'd be like, oh shit, you copied. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Just straight, yeah. Out, yeah. straight out the book. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I'd be like, damn. I was like, you, I was like, you asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Next one. Am I the asshole for going to my birthday dinner without my husband when he wasn't ready on time? It was my fourth. <laughs> I feel like this is usually swamped. <laughs> R- role reversal. Right? <laughs> yeah. It was my 40th, uh, she's a female, birthday a few days ago. And we had a reservation for a table at a nice restaurant for 7 p.m. It takes about 20 minutes to drive to the restaurant, so I plan to leave the house at 6.30 p.m. to build in time for traffic and picking up my father. My husband, 43, had decided to do a bit of work on his car about half an hour before we needed to leave. At 6.30, when the kids and I were waiting by the door, he was still doing it. He hadn't changed and hadn't showered. I told him to get ready quickly, but it got to 6.50 and he still wasn't ready yet, so I decided to just leave without him. He has a habit of always running late when we go out, and he's always the last one to be ready. Normally, I can tolerate it since it only sets things back by 10 minutes at the most, but my birthday dinner was important to me, and I had been looking forward to it for weeks. Making us wait for 20 minutes was taking the mick, so I yelled out that we were leaving and left because I didn't want to lose the table since we would have arrived about 7.20. I called the restaurant to let them know we would be late, and we luckily still had our table. But my husband didn't show up at the restaurant and when we got home, he was mad at me. I told him that I was tired of him not respecting my time and always making people wait for him and that he could have made his own way to the restaurant. My father agreed with my decision to leave without him, but my kids were a little upset that he wasn't there to have dinner with us. So am I the asshole? No, Mm. (laughs) not at all. Mm -hmm. No. I feel like, yeah, he had ample time. I don't. And my question is, what is he doing that's taking so long to I get know. ready? Like, he was working on his car. No, he was working on his car so was until 6.50. Yeah. 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 So he knows the reservations at 7, but he does just all these stop. random things. You just stop doing it. Sounds like his time management skills sucks. Yeah, no. There's just a lot of, like, my there, my uncle is actually like that. Very, very late all the oh, time. I hate that. Does like he just hour. get absorbed into what he's doing? I that think he doesn't see the time? They just or don't does think he they don't care. They don't the care, time? yeah. Yeah. They don't even think about the time. I hate Always that. late. Yeah. Mm. You already know I hate that so, so much. <laughs> no so you're reading the story and was triggering me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... <laughs> like, leaving, leaving, I totally agree, is totally fine. He should have actually drove there. Because yeah. that also shows he that he didn't care. He should have actually came too. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. it seems like he just didn't understand the severity of like how she was feeling about this. Yeah. Like there's a lack of understanding on his part. I don't know, is it a thing where like girls care a lot more about our holidays i guess and guys kind of just don't like it just feels like guys put very little uh, that i've seen very little um emphasis compared to girls on like holidays like valentine's day or month anniversaries and anniversaries and birthdays like kind of girls make it a big deal but i feel like for that example he does it all the time yeah. So even if it's like a regular dinner, he'll show up late. He's, wonder, just, he's just a late person. Yeah, he's just a late person. He's just a late person. Oh, I could. Yeah. I just. I wonder if he like goes that. to work on time. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. 
much. That's true. Now he works on Halloween. Dude, I do. I did have a friend who we had to be at work at 9 a.m. She showed up at noon, and she what? did not care. See, everyone's and judging, I, yeah. bro. And I was like, you do you. she just gets away with it? Yeah, I was like, you do you. Like, if you don't get caught, you don't get caught. Yeah, You're if you good. get away with it. It's just funny. Then I guess that's cool. <laughs> bro, it's just funny. You know how people judge, though? People are late. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, it's not, it's not a good thing. I would be, I can't date, like, my dad, thankfully, is always, like, 10, 15 minutes early. He's oh, mad okay. if we're on time. He's mad if we're even five minutes early. Mm. Oh, I like your dad. <laughs> Yeah, my mom's always late. It's just like where he gets really upset. He hates being late. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't we like already being know. late either. Yeah, me neither. It I makes me feel so uncomfortable being late. Yeah, it, it does make I me feel like yeah. I'm I am wasting someone's yeah, time. Yeah, me too. Because they set this time. Like even to parties, I arrive early. Yeah, me too. Or really? On time. Yeah. But then everyone always tells me, Oh, you must be fashionably late. And I'm like, I can't do that. Well, because I think the party doesn't even start until like the middle when everyone yeah, shows well, up. Yeah, the That's worst is when they the tell you. the time is set there. Have you, have you, yeah, when they tell you the party's at six, you get there at six and nothing's even set up. And yeah. I'm just like, why did you tell me yeah, six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm setting up with you. <laughs> oh well, my God. That's why they told you. <laughs> oh my God, I feel tricked. <laughs> oh my God. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly why people show up an hour late. Because they know that it's probably not going to be nah, actually I think six. People just don't, don't I hate want that. to. People just early. suck at planning. They just suck at planning. Okay, personally, me, I show up an hour late because I already know that no one's going to be there until like an hour or two later. And Damn, like, so just late. everything's still going to be set up. Like, everyone oh, does that. It's like, it's like when you showed up late to your own celebration and everything was set. Everyone's starving, just waiting for yeah. her. <laughs> I, was yeah. so funny. I was actually shocked. <laughs> and people were like telling me, they're just like, didn't you say 6 p.m.? I think most and of the time, like, yeah. the parties are set up on I time. I always arrive late. Okay. Well, yeah, so how would you even know it's not set up yet if yeah. you always arrive late? You don't know. Uh -huh. you Oh, no, you're I just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> See this girl. She's not invited anymore. <laughs> Look, okay, next time it's Nobis thing, I'll arrive on time. But, like, Josh's stuff, like, they start late. So you show up late to those. Milanzo's stuff? Mm, yeah, they, they play it a little rough. That's sometimes. how I've noticed. I hate that. Okay, because they'll say, like, 5.30, and then nothing starts until, like, 7.30. Yeah. Okay, so oh that's how God. I learned it. Okay. I hate it. Mm -hmm. Bad, sure. ha bad sure. habit to pick up. Sure. <laughs> yeah, normally, I'm always on time. Okay, I'm oh, like no. five minutes early sometimes. Yeah. Or on the dot. Sure. Okay. 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 Uh, hold on. She's lying. No, yeah, I'm I know. Not. I'm not we lying. We have yet to see her show up on time. <laughs> okay, okay, how many times have Yo, I been how, late, huh? How many times has she been late to stream? <gasps> Don't Ooh. say that. How many times? Don't ask them that. <laughs> how many times, guys? I used to be on time. How many times? And then I noticed the party doesn't how many, start until 10 how many minutes times after I stream. She said Probably she's every going time. To stream. How how often is, boop, he, is she on time? <laughs> you know? That's easier yeah, to count. Okay, that's easier. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are mean. <laughs> you guys are mean. All right. Last one. Okay. Am I the asshole for not sleeping at the hospital with my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, no, let's go, I let's go. I think I'm going let's home go. right now. I think I just, I'm sorry, I just thought about it. Let's go, let's, let's, let's keep kidding. going. Let's, let's keep it rolling. My pregnant wife has gestational diabetes and is still a few months away from giving birth. The doctors put her on insulin, but it wasn't working and her blood sugar levels were really high. She called the doctor and was recommended she go to the hospital. She decided to drive herself to the hospital because I was at work. In fact, I was in a meeting and didn't know what was going on until after my meeting ended. When she got to the hospital, they confirmed that everything was fine and with her and the baby, but they wanted to admit her to get her level sugar levels controlled. At work that day, I received news that I was getting promotion and I wanted to celebrate by having a few drinks at home with my buddy. I always, I am always with my wife when not working. I only hang out at home with a friend about once a month. I figured with everything being fine, it would actually be a good time to hang out because she wouldn't feel as left out as she's unable to drink currently. However, I didn't feel comfortable doing that without talking to my wife about it first. After work, I packed some things for my wife, stopped at the store to pick her up some stuff she wanted, and drove to the hospital to see her. She assured me that her and the baby are fine, but she was, going, she was getting bored being there. Eventually, I told her about my promotion, asked her if she minds if I drink at home with my buddy instead of sleeping there with her. 
She said she was okay with it, so I texted my buddy to let him know we were good and I would pick him up in a few hours. When it was almost time to leave, she started to act cold to me and then told me to just leave already. So I continued with the plan and I left at 9 p.m. to begin drinking with my buddy at home. A few hours later, she texts me and tells me that I'm an asshole for not staying with her and that she was very hurt by it. I went to the hospital first thing in the morning to be with her and she refused to talk to me and told me to leave. Am I the asshole for not staying at the hospital with her that night? Hmm. Okay, well, I think... <laughs> I'll let you I go think first. she should have been more direct with her request that she wanted him to stay. Because he asked if he could do this with his friends, uh, with mm-hmm. his friend, and she said yes. So I think she shouldn't have been like... She should actually have been honest and be like, no, I want you to stay with me. No, yeah, I agree. I agree. I think she should have been... She should have had better communication. Instead of saying one thing and then later on acting the other way like being cold right? yeah but i think at the same time knowing that that's your partner at the hospital she should have he should have been like okay well i should have prioritized her and i even asked to hang out with my friend during this one time mm-hmm. so it's like it kind of goes both ways i think that he is an asshole just because <laughs> it's two versus one <laughs> like, now no, like look let me explain so it's just because like if your significant other is in the hospital then like you should just reschedule and maybe do it tomorrow or the day after but like yes the way she communicated was not right by saying it's okay and then actually getting upset because that's not the right way to like say it but i still think that he shouldn't have like you said put his friend like you gotta stay with your partner in the hospital because what if something actually happened or what if like that was the last time like you saw them you just never know like what happens and when you love somebody like i would i would forego a lot of stuff just to be with them at the hospital yeah i mean i I think that's fine i don't think that's for everyone but i think that's fine and then also she did say that her and the baby were fine according to whatever metrics they were using i would say it depends like me personally it depends on how severe the person is right like they're in a critical condition or something but I also think like I don't think it's wrong of him to ask because I don't think his intention was to try and sway her into allowing him to do this. Like he was I think I felt like he was just genuinely asking, oh, can I can I not? And it's okay either way. Like I will stay with you if that's what what you want. But I don't know. Sometimes I think even just asking in my mind, I'm like, well, if you cared about me, like sometimes in the hospital, Uh you don't know. They seem very good and they're fine. They feel fine. The next hour they're like in code blue yeah like they're gonna yeah, no, die no, no I, I totally get that yeah like like something could just happen right away but i just don't think it should be an even a topic to like ask like oh i got promotion but like you know i did get asked to go get some drinks but um i'm just gonna postpone it just to be with you and support you i can see that too i can see where like he could you know what maybe he could have done it the next day yeah i would say or, it depends like if he, it was for his friend then i see it that way but mm-hmm. if he had to do other things that's more personal like whether it be his parents or the kids then that would be another story yeah, yeah. you know and that's fine yeah yeah but it's just a friend thing like and friend it's just not like he had reservations or there's a huge party for him yeah. it's just a friend but those yeah. things you literally can just move it to tomorrow yeah. unless that friend's not available or, the, or, say, yeah. it didn't or, say in there. or if something happens to that friend <laughs> right. the next day and you feel you're yeah, regretful yeah, right. you know? I mean, it didn't say you know, all these things it's not it, does, like- it comes down to levels of priority right yeah what you prioritize more in in certain in lieu of certain situations and circumstance right and this i guess in this circumstance he felt like it was okay but I, as long as i don't feel like he had any you know like ill or neglectful intent then it's like i don't mind like if my partner to ask me and i was like in the hospital i'd be like yeah go do your thing you know but it's just so boring in the hospital too it's like that sucks. No tv yeah that sucks. someone to talk to you so it's like well it's... sometimes i have a tv it's just like a tiny one <laughs> in the corner you should phone black and white you should phone oh, what are you doing right, you, could, <laughs> you, you could stream from the hospital like, okay, so, so you would be okay like if you're in the hospital and sam is just like i'm just gonna get drinks with my buddy tonight. If, he, if he's like drinks with his friends was for an occasion yeah like for something? for like drinks with his friends i'd be like what are you doing but if it's like for family or like to take care of our personal stuff at home then i'd be like yeah go 
you're wasting your time just sitting here with me. Yeah. So it, it just depends right, yeah. on what you oh, You could be productive. Feel Clean important. the house. You know? <laughs> Clean the do? house when I get what home. What are you doing? Yeah. 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 Do my clean. laundry. <laughs> Mow the Why lawn. Why sit here with me? <laughs> yeah. So is he the asshole? No, B. Um, I think because he went to hang out with his friend, yes. But at the same time, she needed to be more direct. Yeah, with I what agree. She wants. I do agree with so that. It's yes. hard. I think she there is a shared yeah. responsibility, a shared, you know. There was some lack of communication here. Definitely yeah. lack yes. of com- communication. Well, I felt like he was definitely communicating. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's true. He, he did. Was she was just like the. That's okay, yeah. you know. But deep down, like, it's like read my mind. I want you to be here. I don't know why girls are sometimes like that. Like we're just like I used to feel like that. Where I used to say like it's fine, it's fine. But then deep down, like it's like a test almost. Like yeah. it's not fine uh-huh. actually, which is yeah. not cool. No, it it just like. I think it, was, it just like hurts you in the end, like yourself, way more. It hurts you a lot more. Yeah. yeah. So I just like I stopped, guys. Okay, I'm not toxic. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm not toxic. <laughs> All right. Um, do you guys want to do another one? I have one more, but okay, go. Is it sure. funny? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Am I the asshole for not allowing our daughter's boyfriend to stay with her on the trip we are paying for and offering an ultimatum? What's the ultimatum? Uh, my husband, our 16-year-old son, and I are going next month to visit our daughter at her college, which is a few states away. She's a freshman and has been with her boyfriend, Steve, for three years. Steve is a really great kid, but since money is a bit tighter in his family, he's doing two years at junior college while working to save up for the school my daughter attends. We've never taken him on a trip, but since he says money is tight, we decided to bring him with us on our visit to see our daughter. He visited her once on his own back in the fall, but due to his finances, he wouldn't be able to afford another trip this school year. He was over the moon when we invited him. We don't want him to pay for a single thing. His flight, his hotel room, he'll be sharing with our son. They get along really well. And his food and drink will be paid all by us. And we are really glad to do it. We've also never really had a disagreement with Steve until now. When speaking to my daughter about plans, the hotel came up. This is when I found out that my daughter's dorm roommate is out of town that weekend and she plans to have Steve stay in her dorm with her while we visit. I told her absolutely not. I said what they do when we aren't there is their business. But since we're going to be there and funding this whole trip, he'll be staying at the hotel. Call my husband. I old school or traditionalist, but we are Christians and the idea of them staying together on our visit makes us uncomfortable. We think we are being rather generous to take him in the first place. The word got back to Steve and he actually called me and asked why he couldn't stay with our daughter. I explained my reasons above and he got irate. He decided he tried to pull the adult card. I said, Steve, here's the deal. If you want to stay with her, that's fine. You will still be welcome to tag along with our family, but there will be separate checks on every meal and he could figure out his own way there. He said, we know we, he, he said, we know he can't afford that. And all I All we ask is that you sleep at the hotel. He agreed, but now my daughter is saying we embarrassed him and he's thinking of not even coming. Hmm. That's a tough situation, I think. Not really. Your parents paid for everything. Yeah. It's just being respectful. Yeah, it's being respectful. Yeah. Yeah. If they're not comfortable with your kids, like their kids doing stuff in the dorm room, I feel like, and they're paying for everything, I feel like it's pretty much like okay for them to communicate that they're not okay with it. Yeah, the parents, especially if they're Christians, I guess I know religion plays a lot of things. Religion, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. my parents would be like that too, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, me too, me too. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yours wouldn't. They're probably no. easy going, right? Really? With no. I feel like girls. I guess you're a guy. I yeah, think, I think yeah, because yeah. I think with like when I was in Malaysia before with my parents and Sammy went with me, we slept in separate rooms, even though I'm like already in my twenties back then. They're just like, same. oh, they just don't feel comfortable. Or yeah. if it's, unless you're married, then you can sleep in the same room. Yeah, can't close the door. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was like, I mean, my parents were like that with me too when I was younger. Like when I was 14, 15. Well, they're hoping that you have some grandbabies, stuff, stuff you like know? That. No, but they, they became lax like right, right when I was hitting like 17, 18, stuff like that. I think that just happens with the sons, but when it comes to a daughter, mm-hmm. don't yeah. know why, but Asian parents or parents are just a little more strict, especially with religion. I think that's that's yeah. interesting because in my family, I don't see that. Like even with my extended, like with my cousins. Well, some of them, some of them. 
But then there are others where like their their parents are just like really trusting of their kid, of of my cousins. Oh, and so they're like they can do anything because there's that level of trust between them. I think they just don't want monkey business, you know, right? That's what I'm saying. You, know? you just don't I want. I think you also it's no sexy. Yeah, time. I think that's with girls too is harder because. If you if anything happens, you're not married and you got uh, you some just babies, don't want them to have you know? babies. That's it. You know, then it's like mm-hmm. hard. And mm-hmm. if it's like if it's like the guy, like the son, I think it's might be easier to like deal with. Yes. How, in what way? Like the guy could just disappear. No, like not disappear, but it's like a girl's life changes when you get pregnant. Yeah. Right. right. You know, like a guy, you're still working. Your you body's still, still do fine. Anything. Yeah. yeah. You know. But then yeah. you have to support. I mean, some you already you could run away. But that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, that's I feel like so you much. shouldn't just run that's away. True. You gotta you know? handle the situation. I'm just that's saying. True, yeah. You know. But I don't know. My like my parents have always been really strict, and even to this day, like they probably oh, still to, okay. think that I'm like a virgin. No. No shot. way. No. My mom really will ask me like, you can you have sex. You don't have sex, and like, she just thinks I'm out here waiting till marriage. They think they think flows at church every Sunday. <laughs> the idea of waiting till marriage is so wild. I just so think they just don't want to think in our head, their head that like we're doing stuff. Like that's hard, yeah. like to picture for my parents. It's just like because they're religious too, so like uh-huh. technically with Catholic, you can't really do that stuff okay. before marriage and stuff like that. So in their eyes, I think it's just like they're hoping that like we're being good kids and not doing that like, i hate that idea though that you're a good kid if you if don't you're have not premarital doing that sex stuff. like that has those things do not correlate in any way to me <laughs> yeah at all. i know it's just but they're very strict with every guy i've dated it's always just been like um you know can't close the door they can't even like we can't hold hands it's very awkward to hold hands it's very awkward to even kiss like oh it's like you like to this, i don't know like last year with my ex like he couldn't like he couldn't kiss me in the face so he can only kiss me in the cheek or like we just hug like we couldn't kiss in the lips it's just for so awkward for some reason to do affectionate stuff like, so you would you weird. would never like in front of your parents with your significant other like kiss them and say bye babe no. No, I'm cringing. I can't. 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 Dying yeah, side. they're just like, oh no, I just I don't feel comfortable doing that. Either. I don't think my parents would judge me, so that's why I would be comfortable. I don't doing think it's it. a judgment. It's more like something that I'm not comfortable doing in front of them. But why? That's the question. I th- I just I think it's just not the norm to do, like. It's like doing a habit that you've never done in front of someone exactly. and you're doing it. You know, you're like, I've never done it in front of you. Like, like it's like ugh. I don't want my parents to picture. Wait, so you have done it then? Kissed. In front of my parents? Yeah. No, we just hold we just hold hands and hug. That's all. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, well, I'm in, in general, in general, even in front of my friends, you don't see me making up uh, or kissing. Uh, 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 you don't see you that. Don't make out. <laughs> I'm just saying you don't, you don't see me like kiss my significant other. Maybe like on the forehead, just like, but not like. I don't know, even like, sit you know? on the bed with my significant others. That sounds like, like you just can't. I sit on like the floor. A, it sounds like a an, a situ- It sounds like stuff that just happens here then, in the U.S. Is it? I, I think know. in other places they don't see it that way. <laughs> like in Europe, where kissing is like supernatural. Maybe it's like a personal it thing. Might just Every be person like an is Asian different. thing, though. Like, I don't know. I feel no, like. No, I've seen some Asian. No way. Yeah. I think it just depends on the person. Like, 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 you know? yeah, yeah, it's how you grew up. That's yeah, how you grew up. It's who, grew the, up. who people are, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah well, we, just, are... we just don't do it. <laughs> then your family no, no. just. Because you grew up around your family. So, no, some of my sisters are more touchy with their significant other i'm just not i just can't do yeah, it yeah i just can't oh, so I, just, it's, I just think it's weird it's levels I just think it's, of pda yeah i just think it's weird yeah okay. you know it's like, i see my sister kiss her husband but she's like freaking out low-key too like um, in public no in front of our parents yeah, oh just parents. So she'll literally tell her husband like don't touch me really yeah really? He, and he's like very affectionate and okay. he doesn't understand because he mm-hmm. he's um He's, he's what? A white. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to say that. He's white. He's like, what? He's what? American. American. I don't know. 
yeah, yeah. He's Caucasian, so like he's very like you know that's like I think normal. But okay. then she's like, don't touch me. So he has to be like, like Aww. don't Aww. Do, like can I kiss you? <laughs> yeah, I mean everyone has different levels of yeah. PDA. Yeah, you're, you're obviously not comfortable with it. Like, do you like public PDA? No. I don't do public PDA no, either. I, yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not gonna make out. Yeah, like, whoa. You know, like, 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 a, a, I think <laughs> I think there are just couples that you're eating with, and then they would they would just sit so close do to each do? other, and they would like kiss each other in front of me and like when we're like doing double dates and i'm like what are you doing like so like on each other yeah you know i'm like it makes me feel uncomfortable yeah okay. and then it makes me think should i be doing that too no <laughs> <laughs> like i feel like have you ever seen those couples that are making out in restaurants though that i've you don't never know? no You've way never i have never seen that oh my god I've never you're seen missing a couple out just making no? out in no way no way it's really like, awkward i'm just like yo, i'll like, save it for the bed that? like oh they're on each other like like that and i'm saying like yeah geez. and like her hands down there and his yeah hands up I've seen they're like, like on that. each other yeah, and stuff. yeah. Really he's like grabbing her ass and like gripping it and stuff yeah like yeah that. i can't i can't I'm i like, can't do that no ain't no way no, no yeah i see it ain't no way yeah <laughs> i see it i've seen it a lot me too yeah or where there's like, like pizza restaurants, restaurants. <laughs> yeah Rest you're wa- family you're, restaurants. you're like walking in the park people are doing that you're walking in like a farmer's market Degenerates. someone's doing that exactly you know Degenerates. they're you're walking, older you're they're walking like in their Costco. 40s someone's doing that at Costco yo Costco <laughs> <laughs> they're in their 40s doing that too like yeah. I've seen it 30, 40s yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, good for them for being in love yeah. like that. Yeah, I'm like, me. that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. No, I just like, I could never even let my parents see anything related to like any of my relationships, any physical touch. I just will, I can't do even it. Even like sitting next to each even other? Even when I'm like old, like my parents were like, yeah, I can't. Sitting so, next to each other needs to be like a gap. Like even oh my holding God. hands, like even just holding hands, you can't. Mm-mm, I can't. I feel really awkward holding hands. But do your parents hold hands in front of you? Yeah. <laughs> sorry i don't know i can't i can't know. i can't remove that part out of my brain <laughs> maybe you need practice <laughs> can't. Your pa- my parents hold hands oh, from each other too. they they kiss each other they, my mom my dad hits my mom's butt in front oh, of me you know? too. yeah yeah they do you help that's cute. my mom's like jacking my dad off okay yeah no, 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 no. no. What? Uh, <laughs> It seems like you shouldn't have been there. Yeah, why are you watching? Well, I don't know, because they leave their door cracked. And, and I was you're like, like what are you doing in there? Well, no, and then, like, they have the blanket over, but you can still see, like, the movement. Like, She's like, I'm looking through the people. I'm having a conversation with them, and they're doing it, okay? Yeah, okay. That is the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and hearing our um, Am I the Asshole stories. Let us know, or let me know in the comments below if you guys really enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys on my next episode. Episode. Bye. See ya.